All right, guys, right here in the Gulf. Pretty windy, but the Gulf makes it manageable. Seen uh, some grouper in the hole, and uh, some of them, not sure if they're keep, so we're gonna try to hand feed them a bait, catch them on this reel, and we can check them out and see, if, uh, see how they are. So, interesting way to fish, we're gonna give it a try. Did y'all see the Goliath? The Goliath and a red grouper. Not yet. So because it was really windy, we went out to some spots in the Gulf. The cool thing about the Gulf down in the Keys is that it's not very deep. In fact, where we're at now, it's only about six or seven feet deep. So it's very easy to free dive and there's not much current. So it's a really great place if you're new to spearfishing. What's also really neat is that it doesn't take much of a spot to hold nice fish. We're at a very small little rocky ledge and there's a lot of little fish, bait fish, and there's two nice grouper. One of them is a Goliath grouper, which it's illegal to spear those or you know catch them at all. And the other one is a red grouper. And this one looks like it would be a keeper. That is a hard thing about spear fishing, is you have to be sure that the fish is a legal size before you shoot it. Because you can't exactly shoot a fish in the head and then release it. Our first plan was to actually just dangle a bait over it and try to catch it. We took a small little bait fish, put it on a hook, and I dangled it over the fish trying to get them to bite. Now when you do this, you need to have plenty of leader. In fact, I probably didn't have enough leader because I couldn't get the fish to bite. And it's kind of understandable, right? If there was a lion and he was pushing you a nice dinner plate in front of you, would you really stop and, and you know bend over and start eating this plate and take your guard off that lion? You know, there's a man eater right in front of you. You'd be pretty nervous and, and kind of staying on guard. It wouldn't exactly be the best time for dinner. So I think that's why these fish wouldn't bite. You know, we're swimming over them and it's got them kind of nervous. So we had to go to plan B. What I'll do sometimes is I'll mark my spear gun or pole spear or whatever I have. I'll put like a little gauge on there with the different size fish, maybe like 10 inches for mangrove, you know, 12 inches for certain fish, 16, 18, 24, uh, 20 depending on the fish, I'll put that on there and I can use it as a gauge. In this case though, it kind of worn off, so I had to come up with something else. We took our bait net and we marked it in the boat with how big the minimum size that this red grouper had to be. Now thankfully these fish aren't super skittish, they are in their hole so they feel protected. So we were able to put the stick right down next to them and you know, pretty close, close enough to where we could tell that this was a legal size fish. That was probably the hardest thing of the, the whole spearfishing adventure. Once we saw it was a legal fish, my brother got into position and took a shot and was able to spear this grouper. the big hole we used to have back in the day. I think it's a different spot. This spot was real small. Just a rocky spot. I mean, maybe six foot diameter with a big live grouper, big red grouper, a bunch of rocks and stuff. Where the mangroves. So we caught, we caught some bait fish the other day. Really windy. That's why we came to the Gulf. And uh, it's funny, you don't have to be in deep water or nothing crazy. And, Get, find some uh, some big group of stuff. So small area, we'll maybe we'll find some more spots here nearby and keep looking and maybe shoot some more fish.
we seen him in the water, yeah, and we're like, is he keeper? It's like, I think, I mean, I was thinking he looks, he looks big. He looks like a keeper. We wanted to be sure, so we ended up measuring part of our dip net in the boat, and we marked where that was the, the limit. And then we tried, we're going down there, like, lining it up, like, yeah, does he look big? And thankfully, he was, he wasn't too skittish. We could get up close, and we're like, yeah, that's, that's a keeper. So we got a shooting solution and took the shot. Yeah. Very nice. They say the cheek meat meat is very good. Grouper have chubby cheeks. And they've got meat in them that's supposed to be good. Strawberry grouper. Red grouper. We're going to fillet them up, cook them up, and go from there. Look at the, the teeth on those bad boys. Grouper are really good eating fish. Uh, pretty excited about eating them. they got some really good meat. So now what we're going to do is we're going to clean this fish. We're going to show you how we clean it. It's uh, pretty simple. You'll be able to do this no problem if you haven't done it before. And there's some meat that you can eat on these fish that you don't always get on other fish. Like, like the cheek meat is really good in grouper. Overall, I hope this gives you some good ideas. You know, if it's really windy, if you can't get out deep to fish or spear fish, you can go in the Gulf. You don't have to go far. You know, you're in shallow water. It's a great all around spot. You can just kind of run and gun to your different holes. You can even, if it's a clear enough day, you can ride, cruise around in your boat and you'll see a hole. You know, it might be brown grass and all of a sudden it becomes bright. That's a hole and you can find new spots this way and then just jump in, check it out, there's something there, great, if not, move on to the next spot. It's a really fun thing to do, great, uh, great day in the Keys, good idea, and hopefully you guys will enjoy it.
Now, whenever we catch fish or spearfish or whatever the case is, we like to see what's in their stomach, see what these fish eat, just to get better knowledge of the kind of food, you know, source so we can become better fishermen. And we've seen some pretty interesting things in grouper. In fact, I've caught grouper this size or slightly bigger that had little lobster in their bellies. In this case, the fish just had a little bait fish like a grunt or something. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys got any questions or tips, just comment below. We're always looking to learn as well. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Real Hazardous.